How about somebody that will stand up for gay rights, uh, marriage equality? Let's stop dropping bombs. Let's legalize marijuana. Let's take on crony capitalism. Come on, the system's not fair. Wake up, Democrats. Do, do good at what you're supposed to do good at. Libertarians believe that you are free to do whatever you want with your bodies, uh, be whoever you want. The Libertarian Party is is socially very liberal. The Democratic Party had an option to elect somebody who was more of a populist, who actually represented people, and they chose not to. They chose to rig the game and, and box out the one nominee who actually inspired passion in people. Well, actually, Libertarians have a natural affinity with Bernie Sanders supporters. I can know from my own personal U.S. Senate campaign, I've gotten a huge response from Bernie supporters because we agree on ending the war on drugs. We agree on NSA surveillance. We agree on a host of issues that Hillary doesn't represent. Um, I think Bernie Sanders has brought a lot of message that, that does resonate with libertarians that we share. His, he has joined in opposition to the drug war. He has called for uh, police reform. He's generally, not perfectly, but generally anti-war. The interesting thing about Bernie Sanders is that he's a genuine human being. I may not agree with everything he has to say. Uh, I'm, I'm sure most of his supporters don't agree with everything he has to say, but they believe in him because he's, a, he's a, someone they can connect with. We have that here in the Libertarian Party. Assuming Gary Johnson is our nominee, he has the highest ACLU rating as of 2012. When I talk to my Bernie friends, what I will say is why would you want a government with more power and, and control and bigger, controlled by the very entities that you don't like? You know, so um, I'm of course addressing the banking corruption. I want to build up a wall between corporation and state because I want to end the economics of stimulus, of corporate welfare. I want an end to the war on drugs completely. Uh, I want to get the government out of our personal lives. I want to rein in the NSA. So while there may be issues that we disagree on, we can make movement on issues that are very important to people who are Bernie Sanders supporters that are also very important to libertarians such as myself. If you want the Democratic Party to get better on the, the reasons you support Democrats, civil liberties, opposing foreign interventions, opposing crony capitalism, you don't get that by giving a vote to Hillary Clinton. You get it by giving a vote to the libertarians and providing that incentive for them to get better. And the same goes on the Republican side. But has it worked for you voting Democrat for the past 30, 40, or however many years you've been voting? You might try something different. I mean, insanity is defined as doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. So if you feel that you want to end the foreign wars, you want to bring us back to being a nation at peace, if you want to end the racist war on drugs, if you want to actually get to the core problems of poverty in this country, of wealth inequality, of you know, college tuition, these problems are problems that the libertarians have a solution for, and it's one that would actually put more money back in people's pockets and make this generation not be in a position where they might actually make less money than their parents.